Yeah, I mean, we didn't really change much in our approaches. We made the adjustments, um, what was necessary, but I think we we came out good again. We we played a hard game. We just got to find a way to to really bear down when it matters, and I think that's just the difference right now. Darren, go ahead. This is for Emilio. Uh, game two tonight, you look more comfortable to me. Did you feel more comfortable out there? Oh uh, Yeah, I felt pretty good out there. Um, obviously not the result we wanted, but definitely felt more comfortable. And um, I think most of our guys had better legs tonight than we did last night. So um, that was kind of the case for me as well. And um, yeah. So it, it seemed like you were involved in around, around the puck a lot. Like, did it feel like you were in, you know, in around the action most of the night? Yeah, it, I think our line was going quite a bit, um, and we were kind of doing a good job keeping them in the zone and um, doing a good job on entries. So uh, it was just we just got to find a way to put it in the net, and that's the common denominator right now is that we want it, we want it in the net, not around it. So. Um, Kind of disappointed that way, but thought our line did a good job for the most part. Question for you, Luke. Uh, I think uh, Stockton, Stockton can sometimes feel uh, a long way away from Calgary. Uh, this year, you're playing right under the nose of you know Flames management and staff when you're here at home. Uh, do you view this year as any different than last year, or as maybe a bigger opportunity? Um, I wouldn't say so. I mean, it's a little different, obviously. Uh, yeah, we're right here. The management um, from that team has closer look, has a closer look on all of us. But um, I don't think it changes how how you prepare to play and how you approach every game. Um, just because we're a little closer, I think you still got to um, you still got to focus on what you can do and um, focus on the games that you're playing here and not be thinking about. Um, to be thinking about all the other things going around. So, um, yeah, not not too much different in preparation that way. Thanks. Mike, go ahead. Hi, Emilio. Um, a bit of a different deployment for you tonight. Uh, moved down with uh, uh, Posh, Priscilla, and Tulola, a bit of a bigger line. Um, how does playing with those two guys sort of early in your pro career uh, it, uh, make an impact on your game? Yeah, those guys got some, um, you know, discipline and they play hard. Um, and I think that kind of benefited me, uh, you know, to see how they're playing. And I think uh, I think I played pretty hard tonight, just looking off of what they were doing. And I think uh, that's another part of my game that I that I feel like I've uh, been pretty consistent with. But um, yeah, it's just great to have those guys with uh, on the line and uh, just kind of go off what they're doing. Okay, thanks, uh, Emilio. And then for for you, Luke. Um, your guys' uh, penalty kill really improved tonight. Uh, held the uh, Marlies off the board, and uh, just wondering what changes you guys made tonight. Uh, yeah, we we watched some video. We made some necessary adjustments, and um, I thought we did a better job, kind of staying tighter today, or sorry, tonight than uh, the last game. We we were better when we had chances to clear. We got it down, and. Um, yeah, just kind of going when one guy was going, everyone was going. So we did a, a better job kind of working in sync tonight. Thanks, guys. Go to Darren. Yeah, one more for you, Luke. You've had Dimitri Zeb Grodny on your line for most of these first two games. Just if you can give me an evaluation of what you're seeing in a, in a guy just breaking into pro. Yeah, Zavi is, he has a ton of speed. And he, he gets in on the four check and he's got a really good shot. I think and you saw in the first game he, he had a lot of looks and uh, he just couldn't quite hit the net, but he can really rip it. So um, yeah, we're just, we're still we're still working to kind of try and get more ozone as a line, but I think um, we're seeing progress right now. And um, and Zav, Zavi's a great player, and I think uh, we've seen a lot of upside um, in these first two games. Has he told you you're you're a little bit better than his old center Alexis Lafreniere yet? No, he hasn't. He hasn't made any comparisons <laughs> with him, but uh, <laughs> thankfully. Does he is he feel like a guy that be easy to play play with? Is that, well, I mean, yeah, he's a he's a shooter from my um, initial kind of 
view of him and he's uh but he he does have that big speed so um that's that's one thing um i think you know i like to play a fast game too so i think as we as we move forward here we can um we can put a lot of pressure on other teams defense and and s keep getting better every game i think right now maybe we're not getting as much sustained ozone time as we'd like but that's something that we can improve on so um, that's what we'll look to do more moving forward. Thank you. Paige, go ahead. Um, either of you guys can answer this question. Um, I know you're only a couple games in, and the first couple games don't always kind of set the tone for the rest of the season, but what type of identity do you guys hope to establish in this division this season? Um, yeah, I think right now that's something we got to get a little better at. I think we talked about that as a group. We need to – we need to – play a little more pissed off in search certain situations and and really bear down when um, we get opportunities to to not only score but but um, maybe play a little more physical and a little and be a little harder to play against so um, yeah we don't want to look too much into these first two losses because we've seen some positives and we think that the score doesn't um, dictate exactly how the game's gone but uh, we definitely we, we definitely have more to give here Thanks. Go back to Darren, then to Mike. Scratch that, just to Mike. Thanks. Um, Emilio, uh, heading into tomorrow's game, how important do you think it is for you guys to be able to uh, avoid falling into a hole early in the first period? Yeah, I, I think it's huge. Obviously, we don't want to chase the game as much as we have been. Um, it's obviously nice to get up with a few goals like they have been doing, but we get down like we can't can't lose the, that energy which I really didn't think we did but um, you know if we get down a goal then it's important that we jump them and we got to be ready to go off the off the go and kind of just you know play hard uh, I think we're gonna fix some things now and and look at video and we'll come back even stronger and last one just for me to follow up uh, for Emilio how how has making the jump to pro, uh, has it been as you anticipated it would be? Yeah, in some ways. Uh, I think obviously it's a little bit different with the circumstances uh, and, uh, you know, not being able to be with the guys outside the rink and, uh, you know, following protocol. But other than that, it's been, I think it's been awesome the last few months as well and just being here and getting to know the guys at the rink. So, uh, yeah, I think it's been great.